How the hell did we end up here? What's going on? That little brat. He actually unsealed the Earth Pulse? What was that? Huh. Guess this is the end of the Velvet World Tour Revengeathon. What an anticlimax. Not that I really care either way. We don't know that she's dead. Dead or alive, she's done. No way she'd keep going after seeing how outmatched she is. Bet you ten gold that I'm right. Ten gold? You're on. What in the... Luffy said, what did that exorcist do? <coughs> How? What happened to you? My important question, how did you just, you know, land it on him? I see. So that exorcist woman pledged herself as Lafayette's vessel? Where did she head off to then? If you two wound up here, then odds are that exorcist has appeared somewhere nearby. Then we'll find her. Sheesh, are you never not worked up about something? I said I would save him, so I will. Besides, his power is just what I need. Don't you forget our little wager now, all right? My darling Ted Gold, murdered in his crib by a thug! I won't let her get away from me. And we have no lapis yet to heal. Hello, Seapoint. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode. A lot of stuff happened last episode of two. And now we have no laughter. So let's continue. Hello, Time to dish out spanking. <laughs> Well then, let's move on. Oh no, a dead end! And so the adventure came to a close in a most sudden and unsatisfying manner! Look, that wall is cracked. That means... So exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award, Most Desirable Vessel, three years running! Oh? Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafayette's vessel, I hope. 
thanks, but no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. Bien! Still wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Inominat. Not even the resplendent Mogilu can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than meets the eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Mogilu, Madam Eleanor actually tries! Anyway, we need to find her and beat her. She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. Oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. This looks like some kind of ruin. Where are we? Judging from the style of the walls and columns, I'd say this place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia, the Empyrean of Earth. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the temple builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is? An Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth Pulses, closer to their gods. Uh-huh. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, people viewed the Earth Pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves. Is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples like this were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar, so until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. Hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. You know, for making swords. <sighs> I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. You know, I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. <sighs> again well look who set up shop here you couldn't have shown up at a better time we need more supplies i'm happy to help you all but this time i really really needs to charge a little extra how much extra are we talking here Ooh, you haven't heard the stories little turtles word has it there's a spooky monster that's been eating traveling merchants around these parts <laughs> eating merchants she takes the shape of a black-haired girl, and when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. Ah! I'm not greedy, I swears it. Look, I had special sales going on. Everything's marked down to normal prices. How generous of you. Magulu, give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Much obliged. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, what the fuck? Did she want to talk? Did I? my time. Fooling around. But I'm serious about my fooling around. How is that work? I thought you'd be long gone. 
I apologize for disappearing on you. I was there, and then in the next moment, I was gone. And Lafayette? He's resting inside me. As far as I can tell, he seems healthy again. Your name's Eleanor, right? If I defeat you, you'll be his vessel and follow my orders until the day you die. I accept. But conversely, should you lose, I will take your life. Do you plan on fighting alone? I can handle myself. You're not using Lafisa to help you fight. Of course! This duel is me versus you! <laughs> I'd better not hear any excuses after your defeat then. <laughs> We're done here. Never let your guard down, even when victorious! Why did you stop? I know you can't kill me as long as I'm his vessel. I'm just abiding by the same terms. Had you won, you'd have killed me. True, but a duel is a duel. The Abbey shaped you well. However! <laughs> Once your sword is drawn, never waver. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle, right? Lord Artorius's teachings? <gasps> what a failure I have been. I'll... I'll keep my word. I will follow your orders. To the day I die! Don't! My body... I can't move! How? Since when can a Moloch overpower his own vessel? Lafisette, are you feeling better now? Y yeah. Looks like her body is reacting to the bond. Yeah, I know the drill. She'll get a high fever and stay zonked out for a bit. No biggie. Carrying her will slow us down. We can't afford that risk when we're venturing into parts unknown. Let's rest here until she's recovered, then. She's one of us now, isn't she? As long as she's Lafayette's vessel. That's true. Oh, look 
after Madame Eleanor. You know, I just remembered. After Miss Mogilu and I made our pact, she couldn't stop sneezing and sniffling for months. That happened right when spring was starting. A demon, a Moloch, a witch, and now an exorcist. We've turned into a real band of misfits. I didn't have any other choice. We're stuck with her. Yeah, I know. We can't afford to lose Lafayette. Now that we know the full extent of Inominat's strength, we need that boy more than ever. Do you think Inominat really is an Empyrean? You got me. But I do know this. Whatever he is, he's no ordinary Moloch. And the Abbey intends on using that power. To what end, I couldn't say. If we're going to win this, we need to uncover Inominat's true nature and the Abbey's secret goals. Indeed. At the very least, I think we can safely assume that Eifried's disappearance is part of their schemes. We might be able to extract some information out of that Eleanor woman as well. Agreed. But no torture. I'm not shattering our only vessel. Yeah, I get that. Given the pact they share, if Eleanor goes down, Lafayette becomes a demon, right? What? No one told me that! That's just how it is between Moloch and Vessel. I know she's a threat, but we need to keep her close for the time being. Well, we sure are in it deep now. Yep. Man, Artorius and Nominat. Neither one of them's a force to be reckoned with. Then why do you look so happy? Because I'm still alive. And if I'm alive, I can fight. You're certainly... optimistic. That's just the sort of demon I am. What about you, though? You gonna call that whole revenge thing off? If only. That's just the sort of demon I'm not. Then we need to find a way to beat them. You can mope after you're dead. We? You're still going to help? Yeah. After all, I wouldn't be here if Lafayette hadn't saved my life. Surely you know me by now. I might not look it, but duty and honor flow through my veins. Hey, don't overwork yourself. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Isn't it obvious? I... I disobeyed you, Velvet. Don't sweat it. I'm still alive, thanks to you. I just... I didn't want to see you die. That's why I... Why I did that. To save you. I'm sorry, too. Acting the way I did. Treating you like an object. When I came with you, that was my own choice. You gave me the freedom to choose. And what would you choose now? We only have more troubles ahead. You're still going to fight, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop now. Even so, I've made my choice. I'm coming with you. I see. Anyway, it's not like I have any idea where we are now. That's a good point. Ah ha ha! But an object misused is one thing. A person misused is quite another. What's your point? What's your point, is what I want to know. Not only did you blow the whole revenge thing, you didn't even leave a scratch. Do you have any plan on where to go from here? I'll admit it. The Nominat's power is far beyond what I could ever have imagined. But I'll never give up. No matter how many times I have to try, I'll devour them all. 
bet you 100 gold you break first. Huh? You heard me. 100 gold says that you give up. I lost a bet with Rokuro when you had to go and survive. Cost me 10 gold. I'm just looking to come out on top. Whatever. Fine. Oh, then it looks like we have a bet. There might be some fun in me sticking around after all. Not that I much care how it all turns out. I'm just looking to kill time. Hey, Velvet. I've got something that might help with Inominot. Oh. Is this that book you took from the villa? It is. Look closely at the crest on the cover. It's the same one from the temple. Does that book say anything about Inominot? Yes. But I can't read it. It's written in the ancient tongue. Oh, don't cry, baby boy. My friend Grimoire might be able to decipher that for you. Really? Well, maybe, maybe not. She'd have to take a look first. Well, where is she? Your friend, I mean. No idea. The last letter I got from her was sent from Isolt down in South Gand. Not much to work with here. True, but I'll have fun watching you try. Oh, I'll find her. Don't you worry about that. That's the spirit. Don't give up just yet. Well, this was something. the things a damned demon watching over me how could i have let this happen i'm such a disgrace <laughs> to atone for this grave sin Really, no one is actually watching. This is all I can do. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. What is that? Communication art. I send Melchior to check out the Earth Pulse. And what a strange sight does he find? My lord, I have failed you. Lift your head, Eleanor. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. A special mission? You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. This mission is highly classified, and not to be shared with even the Legates. Protect the Malik and bring him to the capital, then? With the utmost secrecy, your becoming his vessel is in fact quite fortunate. Maybe so. But with me as his vessel, the Malik may interfere. This Malik may have his own will, but he can be manipulated. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, Eleanor. You act under my full authorization. Even were it to mean obeying the orders of a demon? But, my lord, what Malik could possibly be that valuable? Are you saying you cannot? Shame is only a fleeting emotion. It is will and reason that ultimately prevail in the face of calamity. My lord, I live to serve the principles of your teachings. The Earth Pulse will soon close. From here on, you must use your own discretion to execute your mission. Oh, 
के लिए 